We begin at Parliament. National MP Jamie Lee Ross broke his silence today on the black and white chequered foyer of Parliament delivering a series of bombshell accusations against party leader Simon Bridges. The claims include corruption, electoral fraud, underhand tactics by the party's leadership and he says Mr Bridges is no longer fit in his mind to become Prime Minister. He said Simon Bridges and Paula Bennett forced him to take leave three weeks ago when they sprung harassment accusations against him and acted as judge, jury and executioner. He says their actions caused his mental breakdown. It was a lot to take in in one press conference, but Jamie Lee Ross's allegations also implicated himself. He says he was naive to follow Mr Bridges' instructions to split a large donation from a wealthy businessman that was then intentionally not disclosed to the Electoral Commission. Jamie Lee Ross talked about how internal party polling has shown Simon Bridges' rating has fallen to negative 27%. The speed and magnitude of Simon's unlikability is worse than Phil Goff, David Shearer and Andrew Little had when they were opposition leader. The New Zealand public are not stupid and they've seen what I had failed to see until now. Simon is a flawed individual without a moral compass and without an un any underlying principles except power. And Jamie Lee Ross, Ross spoke about his allegation that Simon Bridges filed a false electoral return. I know Simon filed a false return because Todd McClay and I spotted that false name in his return in January and suggested it needed to be tidied up. Simon Bridges knows exactly what Cathedral Club is. It was a name used to hide a donation from a close friend of his. He claims it was a clerical error. I call BS on that. It is simply implausible that someone that touts his skill as a former Crown Prosecutor as an honest person and as someone that thinks he is fit to be Prime Minister, it is simply implausible that he signed a form with a false name for a donor that he knows well and that he didn't notice. The Electoral Act says filing a false return is a corrupt practice. Falsifying the name of a donor to hide their identity is a corrupt practice. I believe Simon Bridges is a corrupt politician. Jamie Lee Ross says in May this year he had dinner at the home of Chinese businessman Yikong Zhang. The following week, he says Simon Bridges called him to say the same wealthy businessman had offered him a $100,000 donation. Jamie Lee Ross says Simon Bridges asked him to collect this donation. He was at pains to point out that the donation should not be made public and could I ensure this. I was naive and I acted on my leader's instructions. I duly carried out Simon Bridges' wish. A $100,000 donation was collected. It was split in smaller donations that were below the $15,000 declaration threshold. And the full $100,000 donation has not been disclosed to the Electoral Commission. Simon Bridges will deny that he asked me to do this. But on the 20th of June, after the donation was received, I called Simon, knowing that the leader of the National Party had asked me to carry out an unlawful act. I had the presence of mind to record the conversation Simon and I had. I reminded him that he had dinner at the individual's home. He acknowledged this by saying yes. I reminded him that he, offered, he was offered a $100,000 donation. He also agreed with this point by saying yes. I then told him the $100,000 donation had been received. He expressed his excitement by saying fantastic. I then asked him what he wanted done with the donation and we discussed how to tell party president Peter Goodfellow. We also discussed Simon having promised to have dinner with the Chinese businessman at Simon's own home in Tauranga in the future. I'm not proud that I didn't have the courage to speak truth to power back then, but now I have the clarity to understand that multiple breaches of electoral law by Simon Bridges is not acceptable. Now, Jamie Lee Ross says he will visit the police tomorrow to lay a complaint and play them the phone recording he was just referring to. The National Party President, Peter Goodfellow, says he can find no proof of the accusations and assertions made by Mr Ross. Peter Goodfellow says the allegations are inconsistent with the donor information the party has, including information previously supplied by Mr Ross. This afternoon, Mr Ross also released photos of Simon Bridges with Yikung Zhang, a man that Jamie Lee Ross stresses has done nothing wrong. 
Three weeks ago, Jamie Lee Ross says he was called by Deputy Leader Paula Bennett and marched to Simon Bridge's office. There, he says, he was told four women had complained that he had harassed them and that Mr Bridges was sacking him. My suspicions arose when the story changed. The woman now had not just approached Paula, but they'd approached both Paula and the Chief of Staff, Jamie Gray. They'd not approached Parliamentary Services, their employer. I raised this with Simon Bridges, and he told me if I kept asking for natural justice, that it would not be just four women, he could get 15 women. The changing nature of the story made me think it was a bluff, and a bluff being played out by some seriously unethical people who are so proud of their own importance they can't accept dissent. The following week it was announced that I was taking leave for medical reasons. It's true, I suffered a medical event. To see that my career was being ended off the back of these allegations that I could not answer all of a sudden came up just as I was questioning Simon's leadership. That was difficult to accept and I had a mental breakdown. The timing was clearly appalling given the leak inquiry and the connection to mental health. I was further deeply hurt that Simon Bridges characterised my own mental health as embarrassing. No one should have their boss tell the nation that their mental health and their medical needs are embarrassing. I was raised by my grandmother and great-grandmother to respect women. I strenuously deny any allegations that I have harassed anyone. I've served in public office for nearly 15 years, and I've never once had such a complaint made against me until now. Jamie Lee Ross there denying any allegations of harassment. Looking forward, he says his mandate is with his botany electorate, which is why he will resign from his electorate seat as well as from the National Party on Friday. He says the by-election will be a referendum on Simon Bridges' leadership. The coming botany by-election will be a referendum on Simon Bridges' leadership and his fitness to serve New Zealand. I will stand as an independent candidate. I will ask my community to endorse my service to them and decide if I am fit to continue. I'm sure the National Party will stand a candidate, likely someone foreign to Botany. They would sit voiceless up on the opposition backbenches, nodding and clapping at every opportunity they can, sitting in a party led by someone that asks his MPs to carry out unlawful activity. In that press conference today, Jamie Lee Ross seemed to be very keen to be asked about where this all began and whether he was the leaker of Mr Bridges' uh, political expenses. He denied that. I'm standing here offering what I know about the party and offering um, answers to the questions that you have. You're going to make your own conclusions about that. I say I wasn't the leaker to you, Tova. I say that the PwC report also could not conclude who the leaker was. The PwC report, however, has taken unrelated communication that we all trusted wouldn't happen with that privacy waiver. They've taken unrelated communication, pieced it together, and said, Jamie Lee contacted uh, the, a police officer and, and he contacted the journalist. So he must therefore be the original leaker. There is no evidence that I sent anything to you, Tova. In fact, the very first, first time we ever had any communication by, by way of cell phone, other than in the corridor, was yesterday when you asked how I was doing. There's never been any text messages between us in the past, Tova, uh, and, and you can all believe what you want, you but I don't, I, don't, I don't say that that report is right, it is inaccurate, and I believe they've also abused the privacy waiver because the privacy waiver said it would take information related to that phone number and related to that document. They've gone and taken information, searched through all our records, pieced together unrelated communication and pointed it to me. A very confident Jamie Lee Ross uh, at the end of that explosive press conference in Parliament today.